Welcome to Fast Performance TV, I'm Claudio Encina. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to set yourself up to succeed with prospecting. I also call it the profit zone. So one of the things is, what are you gonna be doing in those two to three hours where you're gonna get on the phones, which I call smart calling. Now there may be some new agents in the industry right now that I'm talking to, who are looking at what could I be doing to prospect for new and future business. So I'd recommend that you're gonna be blocking out a couple of things and that is time time of blocks just to get on the phones. So let's eliminate the word cold calling and start calling it smart calling. Because when you smart call, you're ringing with something that's relevant to the prospect and it's gonna make a lot of sense for them. For example, it just sold or just listed in the area or something to do with the marketplace that's relevant to them. So number one, what I would recommend is get into a zone where you're gonna get say 9.30 to 11.30 and just practice productivity, which is getting on the phones. Number two, I'd recommend is learn to embrace failure. This one's really, really important. I have agents that after, you know, fail one call, two calls, they just stop making phone calls. But why? Because we're looking for that instant gratification. And you know what? Be willing to pay the price. So what I mean by be willing to pay the price is it's gonna take a little bit of time. Think about like a pendulum. On this side of the pendulum, as you start making these calls day in, day out, week in, week out, and for the first few months, you're gonna feel like you're gonna get rejected, you're gonna feel like you're miserable, but slowly over time as you start to make these calls, the pendulum starts to swing a little bit more in the favor where the prospect might say to you after one phone call, hey, you know what? Yeah, we might be interested in a market appraisal. Why? Because your technique gets better, your confidence gets better, and you're upskilling every time you're getting on the phone. So don't worry if you're getting hit in a wall every time you're making these phone calls. Learn to embrace failure and have fun with it. The other thing that you want to do is measure your progress when you're setting yourself up to prospect or get in that profit zone. Meaning that you know you cannot grow without a level of awareness. I mean, if you're making 10 calls and then Tuesday you're making five calls and then Wednesday you're doing 50 calls and then you add up all those calls, you want to know how many connects to a conversion to making an appointment it is for you. Because you want to improve on that stat. You can't get better if you just sort of like wing it and hoping that you're going to get really good. So the other thing that you also want to do is maybe get a success buddy. Someone in your office that's like-minded like you, where you can go, both go together and get on the phones and look for new business. So there are just a little couple of slight tips that you want to look around prospecting. And let me tell you, that pendulum will start to swing that other way, and that's where you reach a sense of achievement, you'll see success, and the most important word that we all want to feel as human beings is a sense of progress knowing that we're moving forward to reach our goal or destination. I hope you've enjoyed these little tips. Remember, stay in control, stay focused, and always stay in action.